AlexandWindowCleaner.com. I want to show you the Tucker Rinse Bar and how to install a Tucker Rinse Bar. So, Tucker Rinse Bar is available in two different sizes. There's an 18 inch and there's a 12 inch. Now, if you're going to pull out your measuring tape, it's not going to measure 18 and it's not going to measure 12. The block of an 18 inch brush is 16 inches, so this is just about 16 inches. The block of a 12 inch brush is 10 inches, so this is going to measure just about 10 inches. How a rinse bar works is it mounts to the back of your brush and this bar sits right over the top of the block and water is put in through the fitting back here and there's an array of holes or jets that are going to just push water in a nice motion right over the top of the bristles so when you are scrubbing and rinsing the window you can keep the brush right on the glass the water just going to go right over the top and get a nice sheeting action you get all the dirt and impurities that you just scrub loose right off the window so when we ship you a Tucker rinse bar, it's going to come with two slightly longer screws, slightly longer than the screws that currently hold the socket into the back of the Tucker block. I'm going to show you how to take out the old socket, install these new screws and make your Tucker brush a Tucker brush with a rinse bar. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. You have your Tucker brush right here. You're just going to undo one side of the jets, make it a little easier. Turn the hoses away from yourself just to uh, get them out of the way. So you don't want to use any power tools when doing this because sometimes you can just over spin. And if you do that, you might strip out the block and the new screws or even these screws won't hold in there great. So just use a screwdriver, take your time. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is gonna come with slightly longer screws. You can see, here's the original screw there's a longer screw. You're just gonna lay the rinse bar down first, then the socket that you just took out. Take your longer screw, work it through both holes, line it up with the original hole. Tighten it a tad, go to the other side. Get your second screw. There we go. Okay, now that it's installed, you can take the tubing coming through your pole, put it right into your rinse bar. As you can see from the side here, the rinse bar sits right over the block and the water is gonna come out, cascade right over the bristles, giving you a nice even rinse while you're water fed pole cleaning. If you're looking to upgrade from the pencil jets that come with your Tucker brush, consider adding a Tucker rinse bar. Easy to install and they're available at windowcleaner.com.